Use your iPhone to get healthy, wealthy, and wise. And I'll show you how to use your iPad as a second screen for your computer. And my iPad runs Android apps. What? It's time for iOS Today. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. iOS Today is brought to you by Butcher Box. Better meat for a better you. Free from added antibiotics and hormones, humanely raised and delivered right to your door. For $20 off your first box and two pounds of free salmon, go to butcherbox.com slash iOS today and enter iOS today at checkout. And by ExpressVPN. Protect your online activity today. For three extra months free with a one-year package, go to expressvpn.com slash iOS today. And by WordPress. Turn your dreams into reality and launch your website at wordpress.com. Get 15% off any new plan at wordpress.com slash twit. Yeah, baby. Time for iOS Today. I'm Leo Laporte. I'm Megan Maroney. Looking lovely today. And you too are looking lovely. Well, I always wear the same thing. I know. It's sad. Don't you wish you could wear different patterns like this and flowy outfits? I do, kind of. I know. It's most uh, species, the male is the flashier mm -hmm. of, the, mm -hmm. of the two. Uh, I don't know how we lost out here in the human race. Well, you make it up with all of the talking you do. <laughs> I mean, not you, just the man. No, we have to posture to impress you. Exactly. So that you will decide that we would make the perfect mate. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a show where we talk about iOS, which could be an iPad. Uh, it could be an iPhone. Could be an Apple Watch. Yep, or Apple TV. But it could not be that. Yes. What are you using? Uh, I am using uh, Jason Howell's Pixel Slate. It is not an iPad. It is iPad sized, iPad shaped. Here iPad it is. priced. It uh, has the, but huh. it has the Google Pay Play Store on it. So um, this is a trade that you do every year with your co-host on Tech News Weekly. He's the host of All About Android. You're the host of iOS today. Mm -hmm. So it means this is kind of logical. You, tr but in years past, you've traded phones. Yes. Uh, the we've traded phones and watches in the past, but we decided that because the Pixel, he's using the Pixel 3. Yeah. Last year, I used his Pixel 2. Yeah. There's not that much difference. Maybe just the night sight camera, but like I can imagine what my dark yeah, you know, bar not, room I mean, photos look like with light. <laughs> just imagine if you could see what's at the end of the I, bar. I don't want to see that. Yeah, you're right. Actually. Um, so we decided, you know, here's this device that came out. It has not been very well reviewed by you or others. Jason likes it. He I didn't review it. it. Uh, but I have, uh, so this is the Pixel Slate, which is Google's, this year's Google Chrome OS device. Mm -hmm. Usually they do a laptop, the Pixel Book, which I have, and I, I really like Chrome OS. Lately, Chrome OS has added the ability to run Android apps, so you mm -hmm. have both an Android store, although, as we just discovered, a limited version of the Android mm -hmm. store, because you can't, for instance, put Apple Music on there. Right. Uh, but it's really a Chrome OS device. Yeah. So it's, it's almost a computer. In fact, he bought the keyboard and everything, mm -hmm. so it... It's really kind of more like a, a computer than it, a laptop computer than it is a tablet. Yet it does have tablet features. In fact, yeah, I notice you don't have the pencil I'll, I'll, or the pen. I is, don't have the I'll get pencil. That for you. Um, but that's I a think real browser. That's Chrome. It's a full-on browser yeah. that I really like. So it's um, you know the keyboard is great. The it adjusts the stand. This adjusts it any Infinite. any way I want. Yeah. Whereas you know the the silly old iPad only has two ways to. To adjust. One of the biggest stories here is that it's more configurable than the iPad. You can get a variety of uh, processors, uh, including some fairly high-end Intel processors like the i5. And you can get more memory in it, uh, RAM. Storage is, uh, you can get more storage too, but it's not anywhere. You get more storage in an iPad um, because an iPad really is designed to store stuff locally. Chrome OS is designed to be a cloud operating system. Mm -hmm. So that's a little difference there. You like it, though. Screen, so far, I think the screen's good, right? I think the screen is great. Yeah, so far I like it. It doesn't have the face ID, but it has a fingerprint sensor up there. That's actually a big improvement for Chrome OS. In the past, you've had to type your Google password, yeah. which is a real pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. So it, it, what's interesting, it's roughly the same size. It's actually a little smaller than the 12.9-inch iPad mm -hmm. Pro, the latest 2018 version. So, uh, But it's comparable. I would say it's comparable. And it's very comparable in price. It's about... You know, it's somewhere around $1,000. It could be more if you configure it 
uh, with lots of features and less if you don't. Uh, I think the lowest is about 600 bucks. Mm -hmm. yeah, so how long are you going to do this? Just three weeks. Not long. I guess you could still review stuff on your watch and your phone. Well, and, and a lot TV. of a lot of the apps, some of the apps that I are there, yeah, yeah, are there. Like everything but the home. Uh, that was an app we talked about. We'll talk about that next week. Everything but the okay. home. Um, I'm not sure if there was an Android okay. app. I'll tell me. you what is not on there is my app cap later in the day. But what are we talking about? Okay, today? I said we're gonna use our iPhones and iPads to be healthy, wealthy, and wise. At least healthy and wise. I uh, I don't think there's a way to get wealth. Well, you could, you know how you get wealthy. You write a, a best-selling app. True. Then you could get wealthy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good luck doing that. There's a lot of competition. Right. But okay. it can happen. But let's start with healthy. Um, I have a question for you. Do you believe in vitamins? I. So that's an interesting question. I do take vitamins, <laughs> a lot of them, and I think of them as my magic pills. That it's. I kind of understand that it's probably voodoo. Certainly, some of them I take are voodoo. In fact, even the one that I was sure was the real deal, vitamin D, huh. lately research has come out that it's really just one guy who happened to work for the vitamin D council who's really been promoting vitamin D as a must-have supplement. Oh. And, and there is research, so I've even seen research that say it's bad for you to take supplements. It's my opinion that it's not, in my, my life, this is for me, not for you, it's not bad to take supplements. It's just that you may be oh, oh, spending sorry. money you don't need to spend. So what do you have something about uh, vitamins? I in there? do have something about vitamins. I because I'm interested in this. Okay, um, I take I take one vitamin, sixty dollars a month. That's supposed to make me live forever. One for sixty dollars a month. No, I take many vitamins. Oh, this okay. is like pill pack. It is like pill pack. This is called care of. Okay, and it's just vitamins, not anything else. And I, I took think a Lisa little... might have done this. Really? Yeah. Did she like it? Yeah. I like it so far. Because you, you know why survey. she hates. Going through her, oh, look. You and see, I yeah, took a survey. Yeah, she did that. Yeah. She did, and it said, hi, Lisa, or did it say, hi, yeah. Megan? Because it said, hi, Megan, which is weird. Uh, so I have a little note here. These aren't today's vitamins. I already took today's vitamins. It says, today's challenge, go for a walk today and leave your phone at home. Ah, unplug it. So does it say something different every day, or does it say that every day? No, it's, let's try another one. Oh, you're going to ruin like your fortune. Calendar. No act of kindness, oh. no matter how small, is ever wasted. This is nice. So here's the app that goes along with it. Care of it. The vitamins range from five to twenty-five dollars a month. They um, they pres prescribe, right? You, right. You tell them what you want. Yeah, you tell them like, I want healthy skin. I want uh, to age gracefully. I have stress with my boss. Think things like that. I don't really have stress with my boss, but oh wait, that's a different. I'm not your boss. That's I'm true. your co. -worker. Oh yeah, I don't have stress I'm with your my boss. Colleague. <laughs> I have stress with my colleague. Colleague. So I took my vitamins this morning. So I say you take vitamins. Okay. I'm taking a washganda. They also asked me if I was open to Eastern medicine, it, and so I is was. Is a washganda made in Wakanda? No, I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> it, it gave it. So I took my vitamins, and it says, "Oh yeah." Oh yeah. Um, and I've t I've taken eleven packs so far, so wow. you can tell already in my healthy skin. Um, and then it says what? So I've taken ten packs of vitamin D. And allegedly, after taking vitamin D for a week and a half, you may not be feeling much change. That's normal. Vitamin D supports the body's ability to absorb calcium from both food and supplements, which then supports bone health. Can I just tell you, after taking vitamin D for five years, you may not notice any difference either. <laughs> I never get sick, though. And I, I don't know if that's just a, a healthy constitution or the fact that I take all these I know. supplements. It's a mystery. So it's like we may be just throwing money in, down the They call drain. it expensive pee. Yeah. And so you're not throwing colorful. it down the drain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so the ashwagandha. Ashwagandha. That sounds like a... brain. Oh, is that a root or a mushroom? I take a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> Seriously. It, really? Yeah. It might be. A 2016 study published in Experimental Gerontology demonstrate demonstrated evidence that ashwagandha supports brain health and might have neuroprotective benefits. So might. by taking it now... Is, is the key word. You might very well be yeah. protecting your brain for the future. You know, the, what happened here is at some point the supplement companies got to the FDA and convinced them, you don't need to regulate over-the-counter supplements. You don't need to test them for safety and effectiveness. So I guess they're somewhat tasted for, I hope, tasted for, tested for safety. But there's no evidence that they're effective. And a lot of, a lot of vitamins are on kind of scant research. On the other hand... Why not? Well, um, <laughs> I take a ton of them. I take so many vitamins. My pee is green. <laughs> no, I take a lot. Of, I take a multi. I take a mushroom supplement, which is for immune health. C, 
B complex, D. And it's all in one vitamin. No. Oh. oh, you should see the handful of pills. I'm yeah. kind of like Ray Kurzweil. I just. Yeah, there's like five or six pills in there. Um, which oh, really? Kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's about as many as I take. Yeah. Um, so the $25 pills that's are bad. prenatal. Um, th no, $25 for a month. We know prenatal vitamins are yeah. important. Folic this, acid, things like that. There are definitely prenatal vitamins people should take. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. But I think that um, most of them are cheaper than that and cheaper than buying the giant thing of bot of really you know, well because, what's they're more convenient too because yeah. one of the things lisa and i hate is every once a week we have to get our little pill box out and dole out the vitamins into it and i do that because otherwise i'll forget or i won't you know it's it's even more complicated if you don't do that that's so much easier that's why lisa liked that yeah and i also don't have a big bottles of expired vitamins that you know another I good stop point. taking yeah because i you know we have a lot of that. we have a whole yeah shelf of <laughs> So it's cheaper in that vitamins. sense. Um, I, I got the first month free somehow. I don't know, you know, but um, then uh, not because I was going to talk about it because I found some online. That's just the deal. Yeah, yeah. First month free. So, yeah. but I'm going to keep doing it because you know why? I like to try new things. I, I don't see the harm in it, I guess, except for the, on to your, you know, the damage to your pocketbook. But if you can afford it, I, I think there are some vitamins C and D we know have some benefit and, and B. The mushrooms, maybe, maybe not so much. The ashwagandha. The ashwagandha. I don't know what that is. Is that a root? I don't know what that is. <laughs> anyway, that's cool. That's cool. I have a big box of health apps. Okay, let's start <laughs> with your first. My whole folder one. of uh, of health apps. It, you know, one of the things I really uh, like. Notice I started using LifeSum, by the way, which you mm -hmm. recommended last week. I like that a lot. Um, that is the thing that counts your calories mm -hmm. uh, and is, is pretty cool. This is my favorite workout app. It's called, whoops, it's called Go Away, Go Home, You Don't Have to Work Out Today. Um, oh, I haven't opened it on this before. I use it. This is a, a phone app, but they also have an iPad app. Uh, the phone, because I'm not going to take my iPad to, to the gym. So we'll go, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So you can create routines. It's very easy to create routines. This is called Smart Gym? Smart Gym. You can add it to Siri, which is really handy. In fact, I see people at the gym, you know, with their phone, and their phone is timing them and talking uh -huh. them through it and saying, do 10 rips now, okay. So uh, lying leg raise, which, as you can probably figure, I'm very good at that. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks just like you. Three sets, 12 reps, three sets of 12, and then the timing for the rest. And actually, I should add some timing for the rest. So this is nice. It's, what's nice is you create your own, um, if you want, you create your own routines. You can, if you pay a little extra, get a personal trainer. Oh, well, I'm sorry. That's for personal trainers to keep track of your students. This is this is nice because I, I do pay for a personal trainer, and he'll give me routines, but I it's hard for me to remember them sometimes. So it's very simple for me to name a routine, say what the goal is, say what the stretches are beforehand, the renewal afterwards, and then add the exercises. And you see it has a very large selection of different exercises have you ever done the preacher curl machine? Hallelujah, brother. So uh, you can, add, you know, this is this is nice. I think this is a really simple um, and and good good to use uh, app to keep track of what you see people at the gym doing that, right? Mm -hmm. Lisa does that one. She adds a curl, a crunch to that. Feels like you could really hurt yourself doing that. Though. You can. You ha can't miss. <laughs> That's the pullover with dumbbell. Who's the dumbbell here? That's my question. I don't so, really work out with weights anymore. Like I just feel like well, you my don't body have to. weight is enough. Yeah, you you could you, you know a lot of this stuff. Well, these are these are all weights. Let's uh, let's get out of the weight machines. Um, but the, a lot of this stuff is just you know doing stuff like that. The bike mm. crunch. So this isn't uh, so much to prescribe a routine as just to record it and then to record it as you use it. So I, I kind of like I kind of like that. That's called Smart Gym. There are a lot of other ones. I've shown this one, the Johnson and Johnson seven minute uh, workout. I guess I won't sign into this, but this is a high intensity workout. A lot of people like that because you can do it for seven minutes a couple of times a day and really get a good cardio uh, workout with some some muscle strength uh, built in as well. What else do you have there? Well, I last year I recommended tons of different workout. Uh, apps that you could like routines like um, Aptiv. They walk you through it and just in your ear. But I, I also recommend it a lot where you can like do a workout, be in a gym class and do a workout with, um, you know, watch a workout. Right. But they get to be expensive. And sometimes you'll, you know. It's like a hundred bucks a year. Yeah. I mean, they're less expensive than a gym. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. My but, trainer is expensive. Yeah. But he's nice. Um, oh, I love my trainer. They are less expensive than the gym, but they're more expensive than YouTube. Okay, so there's a scale. So you get YouTube, which is really cheap because mm -hmm. it's free. Mm -hmm. Ads. You get Aptive or one of those. Uh, Tony Gonzalez has mm -hmm. that great, uh, what's that? I can't remember what it's called, but it's really good. And there's one Daily Burn that Daily I like. Daily Burn, love that. Mm -hmm. And then there's a personal trainer in a gym. Mm -hmm. And then there's a heart attack. <laughs> and on that scale, that heart anything less than the heart attack, yeah. to me, is a good value. Yeah. So I've been spending some time looking through the YouTube workout videos. Have you and found some good stuff? I have. I mean, I found some bad stuff too. Like That's the problem. <laughs> There's no editorial control at all. Yeah. I mean, you can go on there and find someone who's just like doing something in their garage, you know, and- <laughs> It may um, be great. We don't yeah. know. Uh, so I, I made a little playlist uh, on YouTube oh, that's of my favorite idea. workout videos. And this videos. is completely free. Yes. And I would hope that, it, okay, let's see if it opens. Here's- my favorite workout videos. I noticed Pop Sugar has a lot of really yeah. good ones. And their yeah. idea is they'll bring on a trainer that yeah. um, is known and then sort of it's an advertisement for that trainer and their work. So um, this is Tierra Lachey. I heard about her from Daily Burn. Intense, piercing oh, headache, even if no one else can. It's Ads is what you'll get. With the chin, okay? um, she does Just a lot of dance workouts. And Woo. so this one is 30 minutes. And you know um, which is good, and it's not you know it's not boring. It's fun. Um, so so this is like professional grade. I mean, this is not yeah. this is not somebody in this garage. Although again, I don't think somebody in his garage is necessarily a bad idea. No, not necessarily if you find the right person, and that's yeah. where a lot of these people start. Feels like Thanks I should. So okay. For watching. If you um, like this video, this up, YouTuber, Boho Beautiful, my sister told me about her. If you don't like to watch people working out in you know, their circ. living room, yeah, yeah this, this is in Hawaii she, and stuff. She goes yeah. to and all she goes. Sometimes yeah, I think people Caicos watch these they just not watch for them. exercise. They just shall watch we say? Them? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> No, I'm just, I'm just saying. I watch them for exercise. Just because, like, uh, you sit, in, you sit in your couch. Oh, lie, nice. They're on their beach. <laughs> Sweet. You mean just to like you watch a cooking video and you're not yeah. planning on cooking? That's yeah. what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, especially if they're on the beach, right? Right. Um. So all of these in a bikini. are. Uh, great workouts. They're all going to try to sell you on their, you know, workout routine. Some will try to sell you on supplements, et cetera. But I mean, if you like a trainer, then support them and follow their fitness routine. The only problem I have I with this. I you were going to say, if you like a trainer, set her free. <laughs> <laughs> but that's another song. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's true. Um, my only problem with this is you have to have your own willpower, right? Like you have to sit there and do it. No one's good. If you stop 10 minutes through, no one's going to tell you to keep going. I mean, she'll tell you to keep going, but you can pause it and tell her to shut up, which you can't do in a regular workout no. class. Um, but I, I like this, and they will work on the Apple TV, um, you know, and if you... Uh, Honestly, this this is great. I mean, it's free. Yeah. You know, I mean, remember Jane Fonda and the VHS mm -hmm. tapes, and they were expensive, and you'd have everybody have... And you get so bored because you have five workouts or whatever on a... And this is great. You have basically, they're unlimited, mm -hmm. infinite. They can always be different. And honestly, something like that, you're not going to hurt yourself. But as we probably should say before you do any exercise, all of these will, maybe the YouTube videos Some, don't, but most apps will say, yeah. consult your physician, make sure it's okay. And uh, I, I asked my doctor, he said, okay. He said, I've been begging you, begging you <laughs> for years. Please, Leo, get some exercise. Then he slapped me. I mean, it's not that, <laughs> it's not that, working out is not that complicated. Like there is, you don't no, need a honestly, bunch of- honestly. Like Take a do, walk is a workout, right? You right? can do that um, when it's raining. Um, you Pokemon Go is my favorite fitness that app. Is it, but I, and you do. I you, am I am showing real restraint by not yeah, that using is, that today. You. But it is my, in fact, my favorite fitness app because it gets me out walking. Yeah. And you know what's going to be huge is when the Harry Potter version comes out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll rejoin then. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, but if squats... Push-ups, just it's pretty simple. I'm going to do one that's closer to a heart attack than it is to YouTube. Oh, good. Okay, because you have to buy gear. Uh, but oh. you've seen the ads for it, I'm sure. I have a Peloton oh, uh, exercise yeah. bike. I, I like spin. Have you ever done spin classes? Mm -hmm. They're hard work. Usually the first time you do spin, you get a little nauseous after, because it's like you're working really hard. Again, consult your physician before you do that. And it's okay in spin to take it easy and not like make yourself sick. But it, 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 as you do it, you tend to work harder and harder. I mean, and a good spin instructor is gold. Well, Peloton, the idea is you have a spin cycle at home. 
very expensive spin cycle. I think they're almost four thousand dollars, and the instructors are at their New York Peloton facility, and they stream live so you can watch them live. In fact, let's. I'm curious what's live coming up uh, in 28 minutes. 30 minute intervals in arms ride with this handsome hunk of man flesh, <laughs> Denis Merton. Uh, so they have really engaging um, instructors, male and female, and a huge variety of programs. Now, you can do the live one, and the live one's fun because when you're doing the live one, you see everybody else doing it. You see how they're doing it. You can, uh, you have a, you know, you have a, a profile, you have a name. Uh, it says where you are in many cases. I uh, Mine says, I am Chief Twit in Petaluma, California. And then there's people, oh, Daria's following me. I should follow her back. So you can follow them. There's Kevin. So uh, those are the roses. Um, so that's really fun. Uh, and it does, I think it encourages you because you, you're not only trying to beat other people, and you can even do it in your own age group. So I like to do that because I'm, I'm a young 60, so mm -hmm. I like to be in the 60-year-olds because mm -hmm. they usually a little slower. <laughs> uh, but you can also try to beat your personal best. So that's fun, too. I really like that. Uh, a huge variety. In fact, they've now uh, really expanded this. You see outdoor running. Uh, they have, uh, but say you want to do a Tabata. That's the high intensity interval training. I really like Robin Arzon. She's great. Here's 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. And in fact, you they, this even has a four week program. So you can start with a 15 minute ride. Shall I show you just a little bit of what a, what a yeah. ride looks like? So this is. It will show who else is in it right now, and there's only one other person, but others may join over time. You're sitting on your Peloton. Now, because I'm not on my Peloton, I'm not seeing the stats, but you'll see your stats, how hard you're working, how far you've gone, you know, how many uh, watts you're generating at the moment. Uh, and then you also have a resistance dial, so it'll show you how much resistance you've got on that from zero to 100. So this is great. You're like you're in a class, right? You're actually watching the instructor. Occasionally, they'll change the shot. Uh, there's no one in this class right now, but there usually are people in the background there uh, that you can see in the class. It's really fun. I think this is... Uh, if Now, it's expensive. It's not for everybody. It's it's mostly for people like Kevin Rose and his wife. <laughs> and you. And, your and me. Wife. Some of these... And my wife. Some of these are ex are uh, explicit. They will warn you ahead of time. What, what do you mean? She'll she'll say, "Get off your oh, behind." Okay. She's not naked or anything. No, 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 not okay. explicit like that. They're explicit in the sense that the language, and they warn you ahead of time, which is really good. They get you set up each time before you go into a class. I think, as expensive as this is, because you also not only do you buy the bike, but you have to subscribe. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it's twenty or thirty dollars a month. I what I ended up doing because I I just said I'm going to buy three years of classes in the bike and everything i spent a lot of money an investment in your health again cheaper than a heart attack mm -hmm. and they're now adding a lot as you've probably seen in their ads a lot of additional stuff that doesn't require the bicycle oh. um, so this has become really a complete gym i am a big fan you can see what the schedule is uh you know coming up there's going to be a hit ride with emma lovewell she's very popular she's a great instructor uh, Christine Dare Cole is one of my favorites. She's she, a lot of these people are uh, actors or because they're in New York City or fitness instructors in New York City. So they're really, I think they're very high quality. Christine is uh, just fantastic, and she's she's going to do a forty five minute British pop ride. So you can also choose by music, nineties rock, country ride. Uh, that's fun too. So it really is. It's as if you had the best. Uh, spin instructors in the world and they're just waiting for you to, to join in that's peloton not cheap but i think uh, for me a really great uh, solution it gives me encourages me to go in there i've seen them in hotel gyms too yeah you'll so see them all around you, you can try, try it, in a hotel. it yeah. if you're on a hotel yeah. you download the app right not a bad I mean, idea i guess yeah. you could try it um, uh do you want to do some more do you have some more i have some more go ahead i just rejoined the ww what's that <laughs> Windows it's, Weekly? No. Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers. Uh, that's a great program. I highly recommend it. It is. So yeah. I did Weight Watchers, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago Me too. after yeah. kids. And yep. it, it was great. Isn't it? But um, it was very different than it is now. Now, again, it's called the WW. See, I haven't done it since then. Yeah. So I heard about um, this uh, from, I was listening to Kara Swisher's podcast, uh, Recode Decode, and she interviewed the woman who runs the WW. So it used to be what you do, it was really about groups you'd go in you'd get weighed in once a week you'd mm -hmm. go in a group uh, you'd talk 
um, and then they would work, they would tell you what to eat. Right. This is a little different. Yeah. So, do you know how long Weight Watchers has been around? No, it's fifty-five a years. Yeah. As long and as as long as I've been around. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really evolved because we don't really talk about watching our weight so much anymore. No. Like we don't even really talk about diet. We talk about wellness. Yes. And that's why the WW, it's like KFC. They don't want to mention that it's exactly. fried. Yes. Uh, so, but I rejoined just because, you know, I thought, okay, well, let's see. Because it's really changed. Because when I did it, there were lots of ways you could cheat. There was oh, like yeah. a lot of the food you could buy that they have was a, like highly processed. They have a point system, right? Yeah, so yeah. they have a point system now, but it's very different. If It's not your grandmother's Weight Watchers. Good. Um, the point system is like tons of food has zero points. So um, all vegetable, pretty much all vegetables and fruits As it zero should be. Points. You should be able to eat all the veggies you want. Chicken, which I don't eat, but you eat, has zero points. Um, like Chicken turkey. has no points? Yeah. Um, eggs, so hard-boiled eggs have no points. And then you have a smaller amount of points. I need a dozen eggs a day. If I <laughs> yeah, could. there are no points. Huh. Weirdly, then there's some weird stuff like an avocado is 11 points um, because it has a lot of fat. It's good fat. Um, but you have 11 points. You could spend it even eating an avocado if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, so there is an app on my Android device, but it keeps crashing on me. So I am going to show you what the WW looks like on, um, not the WWW, <laughs> on my phone. So it's $20 a month. That's what it is. So the same as your Peloton. Um, and no, Peloton's more than 20 bucks a month. Oh, I thought you said the subscription was $20. Eh, 20, 30, thereabouts. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't, it's, it's pretty, it's not 20 bucks a month. So I have I 20, remember. I guess I have 23 points a day. That's how many I can spend. Um, and I've used two. 23, okay. 23. That's pretty easy. And you can't, you used to be able to earn points through exercise. You can now, but you have to exercise a lot. Because I used to do that too, like just exercise a ton and then um, eat more. That's not necessarily healthy. Um, so I uh, it, I have this connected to Apple Health, which connects to my Apple Watch. So it does know what my, my activity is. And I do have, uh, I do get some fit points um, that you can eventually spend on food. At tips for success. Um, here's what I like. They have integrations with other apps that we've talked about, like Headspace, which we've talked about before. This is, if you are a subscriber to the WW, you get these basic <gasps> Headspace. That's nice. Yeah, it's all around wellness. Also It's active. true, because stress is a big factor yeah. in overeating, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have they're able some of us. a deal with Aptive, so you can get nice. um, these. Exercises, so you, yeah. you know, instead of subscribing to all three of those, you can just get them. And then they I have the communities because it's still yeah. based in the community. People. Do you posting. still have meetings? Do you still go to meetings? I've never been to meetings. That was never my thing. Um, I found that helpful, especially really? because you have to weigh yourself in front of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's it's so not embarrassing thing, when but... you take off all your clothes just because you want to save a few ounces. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, you just sometimes you do that anyway when it has nothing to do with a Weight Watchers meeting. But you know. hey, <laughs> anyway. only when I'm going swimming. <laughs> yeah. So just to give you the uh, Peloton price because I didn't, I, I oh, looked okay. it up. Thirty nine bucks a month. Oh. That's if you have the bike, which costs. They do, which costs thousands. They do have a digital only membership, which is just the app. And since you see, they have a lot more stuff, and that's nineteen forty nine oh, okay. a month. So that that is better. Yes, yeah, so the um, bike is like, if you have to ask, you can't afford it, expensive. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's almost $4,000. It was very expensive. But, you know, good exercise gear is pricey because you don't want it to fall apart. And, and spin bikes take a lot of heat. So, yeah, it's expensive. I think uh, there are a lot less expensive ways to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's even more than a gym, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One last note about Weight Watchers. You always make fun of me when we talk about apps that, like, you can use a barcode to... Um, figure out how many I don't make calories. Fun of that. I think uh, that's, well, you say, you know, like if you're eating just a ton of stuff with barcodes, that's not really That's healthy. probably not super yeah. good. Yeah. So what they do is every time you do use a barcode, then it's points as opposed to like, if, you know, if you ate like- That's all a real those, change. Yeah, all those zero points foods in, that somehow processed What if you had a barcode at Apple? Well, then you just say an apple. <laughs> So well, if like you use a barcode, foods. it costs you just because you're using a pro eating yeah. processed foods. Yeah, <gasps> like if you have that's like it. A that can is a big change because they sell foods. foods. Do they still sell foods? I don't know if they maybe still they sell don't. Foods. Maybe There's they don't. Maybe this is the I new see. Weight Watchers. Yeah. Wow. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, I might try this. This is a good idea. Well, it's the same as Life Sum, which you also tried. So maybe one at a time. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. You think it's exactly the well, same? Well, no, no. I don't think it's the same. Um, I think. It's Similar. slightly different, but it's, I mean, to use two different ones, that's a little excessive. Oh, I figure if I 
just buy all these apps but don't do anything, then I'm going to be healthier. That don't unfortunately is not how it works. It's unfortunately okay. how I work. What, <laughs> what else do you have? Uh, this is kind of cool. These are the Jabra Elite headphones. We've talked about these before. I really like them. But they have a sport model. And what's cool about the sport model is these, uh, you know, they play music for you. But they'll also do workouts in your ear workouts. And, uh, and I think this is the future of hearables. It also measures your heart rate. Uh, it will measure your oxygen consumption, which is pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, it's an I, as you can see, it's an iPhone app, and it's uh, I don't know what to do. Only I used when to I'm have using the Jabra the app. app on my yeah, well, there's a different one for the sport, the sport stuff, right? Um, so, so the, one of the things they do, and I really admire this, is that you have to set up your headphones, and you actually, when you're setting them up, oh, it already knows that I weigh 181 pounds. And it knows I was born in 1975. That's amazing. <laughs> amazing. How, it, how do they know that? So the, uh, they have other ones as well. I should actually go, I should, I should go back. Uh, the Jabber Pulse are wired, Jabber Pace and Jabber Coach. So these do all the same. Sp so this is different from the other Jabra in-ears. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people bought the uh, new Jabra in-ears for the holidays because they were very well priced. Um, these were 250 bucks, and I've, I bought them for 150 And mm -hmm. I think if you shop around... You could see the um, uh, see some deals. What's cool about this is uh, they actually make you jump around with your headphones. I'm going to cancel this uh, right now because we don't need to jump around. But they'll make you jump around the headphones, make sure they're getting a good fit. And that's very critical. They come with a bunch of tips because it needs to be well fitted in your ear for two reasons. One, so it doesn't fall out when you're exercising. But two, so that they can measure your heart rate and your mm -hmm. pulse and all that other stuff. So I am I think this is a kind of an interesting uh, hearable fitness idea. These are the Jabra Elite Sports, the sport version. Uh, I like Jabra. I've enjoyed their... Um... These are great headphones. And, you know, if you like AirPods, I, I, I'm actually surprised Apple hasn't already done something like this. But if you like AirPods, these actually stay in your ear a little bit better, I mm -hmm. think, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're without any wires. You yeah, see. the Jabra Pulse is what I had. They're wired. They're Bluetooth, but they're wired Bluetooth. Ah, yes. So you pay more for the wireless. And yes, it's a Jabra, so you can make phone calls with it as well. Thank you, uh, Kevin. Okay, so the, the next app that I have comes from a viewer named Brian, and he created this app. He said, after struggling with weight all my life, last year I decided it was time to change. And being a nerd and a developer, took a couple of weeks and created a simple yet different weight tracking app. Look at him. He lost a lot of weight. To help keep me motivated. And in doing so, I lost over him. 50 pounds. Nice. I recently just pushed the 1.0 version to the App Store. I'm currently working to add a Watch app next and have more planned updates. Actually, he sent me this email a while ago. He already has the Watch app. I have that too. Let's not forget the Watch because that really, I think for a lot of people, is a huge help. Mm -hmm. When uh, Any of these apps that you're using, almost all of them have a Watch interface. Mm -hmm. And of course, Apple's own health app and activity tracking is great, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so here's so Obtain. Let's see his app. Yeah. Um, and Obtain. Obtain is just is telling you what your goals are. So here, uh, that was what I weighed last week, but now I can after update Weight my Watchers. Weight let's to see. One fifty. Um, and save. And so you I'm lost reaching two my pounds. goal. Good job. I did yeah. So this is the marker. I here's my goal that weight. weight one forty seven. Um, and actually my goal weight is 130. That's a little We bit should explain though that you're seven foot three. So this is, I mean. <laughs> we should explain that I am a 45 year old woman. I'm proud of how I feel. You've had and several I, children. <laughs> I am proud of how I look and feel <laughs> and I want to make smart, smarter choices when Absolutely. I'm eating. Um, I so, am, I am not somebody to <laughs> mention or say. Um, so yeah, so that's, this is, um, I have all my stats here, my averages. And it's nice because it doesn't have anything to do with food. It's just that that's, it works with LifeSum and other apps. Like this is just basically, here's here's where I am to my marker goal. My goal is here, but then there's little markers. So it feels like you have gotten somewhere. The nice. settings, you can be notified. It has, it's protected by a password. And uh, yeah, he says the data is, um, stored locally using Apple's core data framework because I asked him about security and he plans to add iCloud support um, and it also works it works through HealthKit. Well, it's nice. A listener has written that and congratulations on the weight yeah. loss too. Thanks, Brian. Obtain. Mm -hmm. O-B-T-A-I-N. Well, I feel pretty uh, pretty healthy. Do you? <laughs> I do, yeah. <laughs> do you? Sometimes just talking about health makes you feel you, better. You know what else is zero points? 
salmon, and I ate some really good salmon this week. See, I'm liking this zero point thing. So I could eat like a dozen hard boiled eggs and a pound of salmon you and could eat 50 and some eggs. celery. Ain't no man could eat 50 eggs. You know, can I, you know what I could? You know what I could eat? Oh, <laughs> let me just show you. I got, oh. oh <laughs> Look how strong oh, you are. I got a giant box of meat. Oh, man, when this butcher box came, I was so happy. This, by the way, is also a health thing. It says it right there, better meat for a better you. Uh, think of butcher box as your neighborhood butcher. It's very high quality, grass-fed, grass-finished beef. Did you eat any of the salmon, or did you give all your salmon to me? Uh, oh, you had that? Did you have that? Was that our salmon that yeah, you had? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it was, was it good? Yeah, oh, yeah. I wasn't supposed to tell you. Lisa told me not to tell you that she gave me the salmon out of your box. No, that's okay. <laughs> No, 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 you should have some experience at Butcher Box as well. It was delicious. We had some, uh, we had some uh, ribeyes that were, wow, grass-fed. And so that means lower fat. They're healthier for you, and, and there's healthier for the environment. You can choose from curated boxes that include, it's not just beef, high-quality beef, chicken, pork, fish. Yep. The meat is, it comes to you frozen, okay? So it's frozen at, at the peak of freshness in individual vacuum-packed biodegradable packaging. By the way... I sous vide those in the packing. Worked great. Oh. So if you like sous vide, it's a great way. I had popped those in the sous vide uh, at 132 degrees for an hour and a half, medium rare, then seared them on the grill, and they were the most, oh, man. Each box is shipped with a carefully calculated amount of dry ice. We had a lot of fun playing with the dry ice, too, by the way, <laughs> to ensure it remains frozen after it reaches your doorstep. And it was. It was nicely frozen. All meat is delivered directly to you, and the delivery is free. Grass-fed and grass-finished, free-range organic chicken, heritage breed pork. It is really good stuff. And I highly recommend this because if you're going to eat meat, you should eat good quality meat, right? I'm going to eat more of that yes. delicious chicken. My uh, my kids ate the chicken and they enjoyed it very much. The, the you got my chicken, chicken too? And your bacon. You got my bacon? The, my family enjoyed the bacon as well. I was wondering why that box was a little light. <laughs> no antibiotics, no hormones, absolutely humanely raised. You're eating healthy, high-quality meat. Butcher Box carefully curates the finest selections and cuts and makes it easy to customize your delivery. We just we just took the basic box, and it was great. The variety was fantastic. But you can build your own box and choose exactly how much and what your family would love. In fact, when you first start, probably should be a good idea you're going to get your first uh, $20 off your first box and two pounds of free salmon. So it'd be a good idea to try that. I think they want people to try the salmon. It's fantastic, right? Really good stuff. Um, choose your delivery frequency. Each box, of course, has recipe cards with tips to cook quality meals. This is new, this salmon. And now you're going to say, I know what I know what you're saying. Oh, is it farmed? No. This is wild Alaskan salmon. That's better for you. They don't have to dye it orange as they do the farmed salmon to make it look like salmon. This is the real stuff caught in the wilds of Alaska. And you're going to get two pounds of that free plus $20 off right now if you go to butcherbox.com slash iOS today. They source their uh, pure, sustainably harvest salmon from Bristol Bay, Alaska. Its red color means the salmon is as fresh and nutrient-rich as it gets. It is. This is awesome. $20 off your first box. Two pounds of free wild Alaska salmon. It does taste better, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It really makes a big difference. And some good recipes for cooking that. And maybe I think some people are nervous about salmon because they go, oh, I don't know how to cook that. Really good recipes that will help you cook it and uh, and even grill it. Oh, it's so good grilled. And actually, you can sous vide it too. I, uh, the, the, the One of the nice things about getting it all sealed and vacuum packed, just pop it in the sous vide. Sous vide is great for salmon. Butcherbox.com slash iOS today. $20 off your first box by going to butcherbox.com slash iOS today. And use iOS today, if you will, at checkout. That way you'll get your 20 bucks off and the two, uh, two pounds of uh, free wild salmon. See what that says there? Limited time offer. Don't delay. This was, this is, it was, <laughs> when the butcher box came, and they sent us three boxes. When the butcher box came, because you were supposed to get a whole box. Jason was supposed to get a whole box. When the butcher, but we took some of it. <laughs> my freezer's full. When the butcher box came, it, my son went crazy because he he's already a subscriber. He loves butcher box. He said, "What is this?" He said, "You just got a whole lot of meat." I said, "Yes, my butcher box came." 
I love subscriptions. Like, it's just so nice to not have to think about going to the It's grocery also store. nice to get stuff, like, arriving it's on your present. doorstep. It's like a present. It's the opposite of go going to the grocery store. Yeah, it's, it's like a, a gift. I love it. Mm -hmm. Shall we discuss some news? Mm. Are you interested in talking about Apple's FTC trial with Qualcomm? That thing, what a mess that is. So, as you know, Apple and Qualcomm have been in a bitter battle for some time. Qualcomm just uh, won... Uh, well, they thought won a big victory in Germany, and the German court said that Apple couldn't sell pre-iPhone 10 iPhones in Germany. And now, the just today, the German judge said, "Nope, Apple, Apple's right. Qualcomm's charging too much. Uh, it's 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 this one of these seesaw battles." And yes, as you point out, the government is now suing Qualcomm, saying that they are not. Uh, licensing patents to their technology at a fair and reasonable price. That's called FRAND licensing, and it is a legal requirement. Uh, we know they're paying $7.49 an iPhone, and the judge said that's too much for an iPhone. Apple uh, could not put Qualcomm chips in its latest round of uh, iPhones, not because they chose not to. I thought maybe, oh, they don't because of this battle, they don't want to, they're going to put Intel in. No, Qualcomm refused. They refused. So uh, quite a mess. The battle goes on. There have been some uh, small victories for Qualcomm, but I think, especially now that the FCC is uh, adding their weight to this, I think this is starting to go against Qualcomm. Yeah. And really the issue is not that they have the, the, the patents are not legitimate. They are legitimate. Qualcomm invented a lot of these technologies. And if you want to make a cell phone, especially in the United States, uh, you you really need the Qualcomm technologies, but that they're licensed, they're asking too much 750 a phone is considered by many, certainly by Apple, to be too much. Mm -hmm. So uh, Apple says, no, we want to... So it's all about Fran licensing, fair and reasonable licensing. And that's... We'll talk more about that. Uh, Renee Ritchie's kind of the expert on all of that uh, next on MacBreak Weekly. What do you think about the new iPod Touch that Apple said that they might be... Oh, Apple, Mac Oterra. Mac Oterra. Yeah, Renee had a poll on his Twitter feed. If people want an iPod Touch, and I guess people do, yeah, um, it's for kids, right? It's for people you don't want to have phone. Know. You want the features of a phone, which, by the way, it's not just music; it's apps. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to pay a phone fee, mm -hmm. and you don't need a phone for whatever reason. Well, one thing was interesting. Joseph Cox, who's the security writer for Motherboard, we had him. He was the one that uncovered all of that that news last week about cell phone companies being, you know, selling our data that would end up with to Yeah, I saw him yeah. on TNW. Yeah, um, that was good. He doesn't have a phone. He was using his computer to do Skype and the connection wasn't great. I was like, um, he's like, should I switch to my iPod? And I was like, did you say iPod? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. If you think have, about it, yeah. if you have Google Voice or Skype or, I mean, Viber or Facebook Messenger or, I mean, uh, dozens of apps, yeah. WhatsApp, uh, signal. You can make voice calls. You can make video calls. You don't need. You just do it over data. Mm -hmm. So maybe there is a market for the iPod Touch. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point that market kind of started to eat into the phone market. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't. I. It'll be. I mean, if you think about the cell phone companies, what they do with our data, which is not great. Um, I'm super frustrated with all cell phone companies because right. we pay a huge bill every month and then they sell our data. It's not like Facebook or Google where, you know, you have a free service. So, you know, it's based on, you know, advertising to you. Like cell phone service is not a free service. Yeah. And then they're also selling our data and then, you know, I don't know. It's and, and our location. So, yeah. They're selling it to dog the bounty hunter. That's what really <laughs> bothers me. <laughs> they're selling it. I think they will say they're selling it to reputable play places who then. The promise is a third party them. market. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. It's interesting. I, uh, I'm i not that excited about this story. Also says Mac Okutera says uh, iPhones will have USB C. Um, that's the rumor. We should mention that that site and many others like it, Apple rumor sites, are have a mixed. <laughs> they mixed just report bag. everything and sometimes yeah. they're right. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they're right, sometimes they're not. They're right. Yeah. Um, I know last week we talked a little bit about the news that was coming out in CES about um, AirPlay 2 coming to different TVs yes. and that being a big Different deal. TVs to Apple's arch rival Samsung's TVs yeah. among Sony and yeah. LG and everybody else. Mm -hmm. That that was a shocker. Um, and then phones becoming, um, compa I mean, TVs becoming compatible with HomeKit, which is also interesting. Right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's that, that walled garden that we always talk about that we think is never going to... 
It's getting unwalled. Yeah, yeah. In fact, there's Steve Kovacs, a really good piece on CNBC, mm -hmm. in which he points out that uh, Apple themselves say that the future for Apple is services. If you're going to sell services, you can't just sell to the people who own Apple's. You want to make it the larger market. Mm -hmm. So the fact that iTunes TV, you know, TV and movies can be on other TVs now. And iTunes on uh, Amazon Echo devices. Yeah, that, another one where, you yeah. know, just a blue moon. Mm -hmm. heck, heck froze over. Mm -hmm. It really did. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be a YubiKey for the iPhone. Did you see that announcement at CES? No, tell me about that because um, I'm well, a big you fan. You have a YubiKey, right? I have one in my pocket right now. And this is a, a, and it's not because it, it's just because I carry it with me everywhere. This is a uh, USB device, but you can see it's a USB Type A device that you plug in uh, to your port, press the button, and it does a one-time password. So it's uh, kind of like the Google Authenticator, but it's a, it's a separate device. So it's a, this is a really good security tool. But the problem is, how do I plug that into an iPhone? Yeah. So uh, apparently one, there was... it will have a lightning port A on lightning it? port. Yeah, that's what uh, they announced at CES. Neat. So there it is. And oh, and a Type-C port. Yeah, so both. So that's key because I honestly agree with the previous story that ultimately Apple's going to go to see maybe even the next generation iPhone. I think lightning is, is over. So yeah. that's good because it does C and lightning. Mm -hmm. well, I might buy that. This one is less useful. It doesn't do C or lightning. <laughs> it does type A, which means I have to put an adapter on it. Mm -hmm. And it, and with iPhones, you can't. In fact, they sell one with Bluetooth uh, because you can't even use NFC with iPhones. So they have a Bluetooth YubiKey for that. Mm. Um, so any, I don't know if there's any other news. Oh, there's lots of news, I'm sure. But I mean, after all, this isn't a news show. No, but I do have, oh, here's something. Um, you know, Waterfields, uh, Waterfield bags, the, the SF bags, you like them, right? Love those, yeah. Um, they, uh, are launching, um, a project where you can design your own so that you like whether you have an iPhone or AirPods or everything. I thought this was interesting. Cause now, is this there? You're going to be able to make anything you want? Well, no, they're just crowdsourcing their next generation. Oh, okay. Generation so there'll be wallet, one wallet, so. but you'll design it. You'll help design it or? Yeah. Like, well, what type of wallet do you use? So it's like, do you use a phone wallet, a passport wallet? So I thought this was pretty interesting because oh, I really, really love their stuff. Yeah. And it's, it's never exactly perfect. No. Like, it never fits. I mean, Are, I've been using the wallet case from Nomad and I like it, but it is a little puffy because of money right, in there because right. I'm so rich. <laughs> I think it might be just a bad idea to, to try to put everything in one thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's why, I actually, I carry a backpack. I can get everything in that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's kind of annoying as well. Isn't it the case, though? I, you're, you're a woman, I believe. I believe um, I am. That, uh, that there's just this inevitable expansion of your purse. Mm -hmm. That you start small, you know, when you're young, you have a little clutch and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, and pretty soon you're carrying a boat, you know, right? Isn't that the case? I've seen that happen. Yeah. I, I like a big tote. That is my style. Because you, you need more stuff. Right. Well, I had to upgrade because this is bigger than the 11 inch. The 11 inch fits in a small purse. This, you know, whatever. I gave in and I just bought it. I got a backpack and yeah. it's just stuffed with everything. Yeah. Periodically I go through it and say, oh, I don't need that or I need mm -hmm. this. Um, I want to answer many of your questions, and we will. But first, we should thank ExpressVPN. Yes, our sponsor. ExpressVPN is the best VPN. You know why you need a VPN, right? Oh, don't. Well, a quick explainer for those who don't. Uh, when you are on the net, whether you're at home or at a coffee shop or at work, people who run the network can spy on you. And your internet service provider often will sell things, you know, what you're up to on the net to uh, marketers. Sometimes they'll even, in some cases, inject marketing information into your browser pages. What? And ads. Uh, work can do the same thing. And, of course, in a coffee shop, anybody can see what you're up to. Sometimes, uh, you know, a VPN is a great way to protect your privacy everywhere you go. And ExpressVPN is the best because it's fast. A lot of people don't use VPNs because, oh, it slows me down too much. Nope. It allows you to safely surf on public Wi-Fi without being snooped on or having your personal data stolen easy to use too they've got apps for every platform you one click to turn on the vpn and you're secure it's kind of a nice feeling when you turn on your express vpn runs on your computer your phone your tablet the number one vpn service on tech radar that is a big deal 
Number one VPN on Tech Radar, 30 day money back guarantee. If you don't want to hand over your online history to your ISP and data resellers, ExpressVPN is the answer. Protect your online activity today. Find out how you can get three extra months free with a one year package. Why let Dog the Bounty Hunter know what you're up to? Go to expressvpn.com slash iOS today. Expressvpn.com slash iOS today. We got a deal too for you. When you sign up for the year package, which is the best deal, you'll get three extra months free. Now it's an even better deal. Expressvpn.com slash iOS today. It's the one I use, one I recommend. It's the fastest, it's the best. No logging, they're not snooping on you. Uh, there's no, you know, geographic restrictions. It's just a great solution. ExpressVPN.com slash iOS day. Of course, money back guarantee. So give it a try. I guarantee you, you'll, you'll like it. Rock solid privacy at blazing speeds. All right. We have a video that Chris sent us oh, about you. browsing privately. Um, and here oh, she is. Very timely, isn't it? I recently learned the value of a private web page and how easy it is to use in Safari on a Mac. I decided to go further and figure out how to use it on my iOS devices. In Safari on your phone, tap the multi-tab icon at the bottom right of the current page to show the current open tabs. At the bottom left of the screen, you'll see the word private. Tap this, tap plus, and a new browser page will open up. As long as you're here, Safari will not save the history or cookies where you browse, and the websites can't see your previous history. No record of your browsing will be kept by Safari. To leave the private browsing, simply tap on the word private at the bottom of the screen and your regular tabs will come up. The iPad works in a similar way. Open Safari, click on the multi-tab icon. At the right, the option for private is just to the left. Tap private, tap plus, and browse. Tap private again, and your regular tabs will be active. Thanks for all your help and tips. Bye. That's a great tip. Uh, I do want to say a little bit about private browsing in Chrome on your Android device uh, or on your tablet. They call it incognito mode. That it, You need to understand what it does and does not do. So we were talking about ExpressVPN, our sponsor. Um, if you're in incognito mode... Your ISP can still see where you're going. In fact, Google can still keep track of where you're going. What it really means is it won't keep anything in history. It won't store cookies. So uh, now I think Apple is probably not tracking what you're doing on Safari, but I don't know in, in private browsing mode. So here's what she was talking about. That, that little, it's, maybe people don't know what that little double box icon is on their phone. That's the tabs, right? And see, there's private right there. And you just open a private tab anything you do here is going to be private if you go back and exit private you won't be private anymore same thing on the uh, on the ipad there's the tab icon right there private browsing and now if you go somewhere it's not going to be uh, you know you can press the plus button to get a private tab and it's not going to be uh, recorded on the machine it does not protect you uh from any from your internet service provider your phone company they still know where you're going it doesn't change any of that. It's really just telling the browser, don't keep track of this. And it's not, in, in the case of Chrome, it's not really protecting you uh, from, you know, this, this, is, this, is, this is what it's saying, right? You actually still are visit to, visible to the websites, obviously, you visited, your employer, your school, or internet service provider. Um, but it, all, all, and this is on Chrome again, but what it doesn't do is it, say, it doesn't save your browsing history, cookies, site data, form information. So that's an important distinction to understand. It sounds like you're completely, you know, incognito. It's not a VPN. So, but if you're like shopping for something for, you know, uh, your partner yeah. who um, shares your web browser, yeah. that's a good reason. Yeah, exactly. Because she could see in the, in the history mm -hmm. where, you, mm -hmm. where you've been. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's a very good example. Uh, Mike from Houston wrote in uh, with a comment about MacBreak Weekly. Um, he said that you asked Micah if there was backwards HomeKit compatibility with Wemo devices, um, and Micah wasn't sure. But the answer is yes. Um, with the new Wemo Bridge device, Wemo Bridge is an Ethernet device that plugs into your network and authenticates your older Wemo devices to become HomeKit devices, and it works great. Yeah, I think that's what actually uh, Micah was saying. Oh, okay. So in the old days on uh, HomeKit, you had to have a 
physical hardware chip in the device. Mm -hmm. And that really slowed down HomeKit uh, acceptance because people didn't want to spend the money and the, and the complexity that added. When Apple switched about a year ago to, to software-only authentication, lots more people had jumped on the HomeKit bandwagon. So my question was, well, what about older Wemo devices? Those older devices won't work unless you get the new Wemo base, which does the authentication and then allows them to work. Well, so I have older Wemo plugs that um, have backwards compatibility. Oh, too. they do? Yeah. Okay, without yeah. the, you don't have the bridge. No, I do not oh, have the bridge. Right. And so that was what it was confusing to me because I plug them in. They, I, ha I can't just automatically use HomeKit. I have to use the app. And then the through the app it uploads the firmware and then you ah, go to but I don't but have a bridge. But you're using the Wemo app, yeah, to upload the firmware so you, yeah. to the Wemo and so, then it works, right? So. And that's see that's the key. That's the thing is now that it isn't a chip, older hardware that doesn't have that chip. If its firmware can be upgraded, right? Which in this case, it yeah, can. so I that's guess good. It can, yeah, I've I used good Wemo um, on all my holiday lights. That was my question: was whether they had you could put new firmware. Yeah, in it. yeah. I uh, I love the Wemo smart plugs. Nice. Um, and my holiday lights are still on. Um, and still on that schedule. And I believe your holiday lights are on. I wasn't stalking you, but a member of my book club lives across the street from you. And so we had book club on Sunday and I noticed your holiday lights. You were in, in my cul-de-sac? I was in your You didn't come and knock on the door? Uh, I Did you want me to? I didn't think you You can would. always do that. Okay. It'd be fun to see you. <laughs> yeah, our lights are still up. Uh, they're Well, they're up-ish because some of them have fallen off. They look beautiful. <laughs> I think we had nice lights. Yeah, yeah they ought yeah. to at that price. Uh, we had somebody do it. Lisa yeah. won't let me get on a ladder. She says, you're too valuable. If you fell off, I agree. the entire company would, I agree. <laughs> it would be over. So uh, like Tim Cook, I have to fly in private planes. I have a bodyguard, and I'm not allowed to put Christmas lights on the house. Mm -hmm. and we all appreciate that. Actually, not like Tim Cook, because the first two I, I don't do. <laughs> uh, you do or do not have a bodyguard? No. Well, you're my bodyguard. Yeah, I should kind of do. You know, we mentioned our health stuff. Oh, yeah. I noticed that you're wearing... An aura I, ring. Yeah, I should check my sleep. So we didn't really talk about this. This oh. is actually my favorite health app of all, but they're going to be a sponsor soon. So we'll be we'll be talking about the uh, O U R A aura rings. Um, but I just noticed you're wearing one. I you got uh, one. I did. Yeah. Nice. Um, oh, you got the silvery. I got one. the silver. So again, we're uh, married in fitness. Yeah. Um, you and I. Uh, I think this is, so this does some of the same things the watch does, but who wants to wear a watch to sleep, right? Yeah. So I like the sleep tracking in this best of all, because it measures not just heart rate, but temp body temperature, mm -hmm. motion. So it has a very good idea of what you're doing uh, in bed. What was your sleep score? I'm not going to show you. Mine was actually, 89. Nice. I am. I've never had an 89. <laughs> Ever. I, I went to bed at 10 and woke up at 7. That's a lot. Nine hours, hours. of I know. blissful sleep. Um, so jealous. Yeah. Four of those were light. <sighs> Only 21 minutes of deep sleep. No, but that, isn't that funny? I didn't know till I used this ring that how little deep sleep we get. We don't yeah. need more than, say, an hour, an hour and a half. Mm. In fact, if you tap it, it'll say, on average, people get, but as you get older, you get less deep sleep and stuff like that. But we, I don't want to go on and on yeah. because it's going to be a... Uh, it's going to be one of our sponsors. Yeah, uh, but I, I like it. It's very comfortable. Isn't it by great? Next, yeah, by next week, I'll have more stats and we can compete, I, um, which I like to do. <sighs> I like to compete with you about how Yeah, I've been using it for months because uh, Kevin Rose told me about this. He's an advisor to the company. And then Harpreet, the um, the founder, came in. But I had bought one. Uh, he had sent me one, I think, because uh, Kevin made a connection. And then he came in on the new screensavers. It's really cool. So that's another health. We'll talk about that, though, mm -hmm. in the future. Uh, Joey wanted to write in to say he bought his Nomad case for the 10R um, that we recommended, and he's very happy with it. I should go get my Nomad case. I'm using this cheap rubber case. Yeah, why are you doing that? I um, yeah, I have the Nomad wallet case that I normally use, but I no, don't use it for for performances. <laughs> uh, I, I, whenever I perform, I always use a rubber case. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I just I'm I'm gonna drop it. I did, this dropped uh, without the case <gasps> from my table on like that and nothing happened. Oh, thank God. I know. Lisa and I were bicycling around Pokemon going uh -huh. and I got some, uh, I showed it on our Christmas gift guide, that that holder. And she went over one too many bounces and it, and it fell out of the holder and went tumbling, tumbling down the street. I'm not uh, sure. I don't understand either. Uh, and then, uh, thanks, Siri. And then uh, I come behind her, and I see her stop suddenly and make a U-turn. I thought, what's going on? And she, she, fortunately, nobody drove over it, but she had that one of those, um, 
gorilla cases. Now, what do they call them? The uh, otter boxes. Mm -hmm. It's not gorillas. Otter, gorilla, <laughs> you know, animal case. She had the otter box, and it was perfect. Mm, that's great. Perfect. Yeah, those are too uh, too bulky for me. Like, they hide the beauty of the iPhone, in my opinion. Yes, but she needed it, yeah. as it turned out. Mm -hmm. Uh, Steven writes on the subscription survivor episode, you said that, um, iTunes match enables the user to download the higher quality version of the songs. And then you can switch out your old iTunes music collection for the better quality iTunes match collection. Could you talk a little bit sure. more about how to do that? iTunes match $25 and that it matches your music. So everything that it knows about um, so the first thing you do is you pay for it and you run it and you have to keep running it until it, until, and you look at iTunes and, and this, you need to do this on your computer. I think everything has been uploaded. There's a little icon that'll say everything. Yes, I have, everything's been matched. You can even search for unmatched songs. Once everything is matched, mo move the matched music out of the iTunes media folder. Uh, you could delete it, but I think it's better safer to move it out. So put it somewhere else that iTunes can't find it. Just take the music out and then open, you know, close iTunes, move it, open iTunes. Uh, it, I don't think it'll, it might need to, no, I don't think it'll create a new thing. Now, this is an interesting question. Yeah, you might have to, I think the index might not, might still be there. So select all of the files because it says, it'll say, I can't find any of this music. Select everything and delete it. You're not deleting the file, you're just deleting the index. The file, remember, you move somewhere safe, invisible to iTunes, which is basically anywhere else on the hard drive. Then um, you can, they'll be next to, no, I take it back. Erase that. So you move the music out, then open iTunes, and it will show all the songs. It will have a little puffy cloud with a down arrow, which means I don't have the song here. You could stream it or you could download it. Select your entire library, that index that you already had, and say download all songs. It will re-download the songs. Remember, you matched them. It'll only download stuff that it matched. If it's a song it doesn't know about, that's not in the Apple Music library, it, in theory, will have uploaded a copy, so it'll download that same copy. If it is a song that is in the iTunes uh, Apple Music library... It will download a 256 kilobit AAC version of the song, unprotected version. So now that's an advantage because if you have protected music, it will download a new copy that's unprotected. If you have music that's lower bit rate, lower quality, uh, it will download a 256 bit version of it, AAC. So it'll download a better quality. There are a couple of things to point out. If it's low, if your original is lower than 96 kilobits, it won't match it. So it's easy to fix that. Just resample it at 96 kilobits. It'll sound terrible, but then it'll match it and you'll get a good quality version. So I did that with a lot of music that I got at Napster originally that was kind of junky music. I re-downloaded it at 256 kilobit AAC. Sounds great. Uh, it also uh, makes sure that Apple has a copy of it, which is kind of like backup because if you ever you know lose your music library, a hard drive dies or whatever, you can always re-download it. And it also removes all the copy protection. So that is, for 25 bucks. I think, well worth it. And that doesn't mean 25 bucks every year. You can do it once, and it's done. It'll then have a copy of it. I pay 25 bucks a year because I for that backup reason. The other thing to be uh, aware of, and this is what Jim Dalrymple was complaining, sometimes iTunes Match doesn't match right. For instance, if you have a live performance of a song, it sometimes will match it to a studio version of the song. If you have an unusual copy, a bootleg of a song, iTunes match may match it to the non-bootleg version of the song. So that's why I don't want you to delete your music library, especially songs that aren't matched. You want to keep those. Uh, and, and, and you may want to just check to make sure you got what you thought you were going to get instead of a different version of the same song. Uh, and that's what Jim was complaining about is, you know, he has all these bootlegs and, and you know, live recordings of his favorite bands. And those didn't always match properly. So what could I tell it to match it properly? Like if it no, got, oh. no, I don't. I don't think so. I think it's just uh, it's the algorithm isn't working perfectly, and, and it may be getting better. I think that they, when Jim complained bitterly about this a couple of years ago, Apple did respond, and I think fixed a lot of the features. I would instead of just going by what I said here, <laughs> I would go to iMore.com or one of the many sites that talk about this: how to replace your music 
using iTunes Match, and then and then follow their step by step because you know it's in writing, and that way there won't be any missteps. You don't want to screw up your music, and so that's why it's so important. You don't delete your music; make a copy. In fact, it's even better if you have a backup somewhere. So have a have a copy on your hard drive, have a backup somewhere, and then you're not going to lose your music. Thank you for sending your questions. We love to get videos. You can send them to Megan at twit.tv. Um, yeah, it's uh, nice to show your face. I Chris like sent it through Dropbox, you, which Chris. was great. You can upload it to YouTube and send me the link. Um, you can uh, tell me another way you want to send it. Just let me know um, that you're sending it um, in that secret way, and I will find it. <laughs> um, that secret way. Yes. So we have our ab caps, but before we do ab caps... We, we do WordPress. Yes. Man, I love WordPress.com. I love it. I have been a... Clothes.com powered by WordPress. Yeah. So many sites. Quartz. You know, this is like the changing the world. When their website came out, everybody was exclaiming about how remarkable and modern is, and, and everything. And I thought, wow, uh, <laughs> that's just WordPress.com, guys. WordPress is a amazing platform. For your blog, for your company's website, you, they have e-commerce. It's going to look great. It's mobile friendly. They have so many themes. You can always find one that's unique so you don't have a cookie cutter website. No two-week trials. No hidden fees. And I think this is really important. With WordPress, you own your content. It's yours forever. WordPress.com lets you upload content, video, audio, text, pictures, and download it again. It's not putting it on YouTube where, hey, Mr. Google decides he doesn't like you, boom, it's gone. Twitter, Facebook, same thing. This is your site, your content, you own it. Powerful site building tools and 24-7 support from real experts. WordPress.com lets anyone pursue whatever it is they love by launching a site that's free to start with room to grow. LeoLaporte.com, my personal blog, is, is oh, I've been at WordPress.com users for 12 years, and it's just so great. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you why I like WordPress.com. I, sp I spend less time messing with the site and more time posting content. And isn't that really what the site's all about? You don't need to be a HTML or CSS expert. You don't even need to know what those terms are. You just need to have something to say or a business to promote. The WordPress platform is so flexible, so powerful. Some of the biggest companies on earth use it to build their websites. Steve Gibson uses it for his personal site. Everybody I know really uses WordPress. Millions of people use WordPress.com every day to turn their dreams into reality. And when you think, you might say, oh, Leo, you're exaggerating everybody you know. 33% of all the internet runs on WordPress. One third worldwide of the entire internet runs on on WordPress. Go to WordPress.com slash twit. You'll get 15% off any new plan purchase. WordPress.com slash twit. 15% off WordPress.com slash twit. If you've been thinking, I don't like my site. I need a better site. We just heard about one of the uh, big domain registrars. I'm not going to name names, but you know the name. Injecting JavaScript into people's sites, the sites they host. That's shocking. Not at WordPress. WordPress.com slash twit. This is a company that believes in the open web, believes in creating great websites. WordPress.com slash twit. I'm a, I'm, I couldn't be more positive and, and happy about WordPress. Me too. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. That's my website is powered these by are, WordPress. These are the good guys. Mm -hmm. oh, All right. I should put a hat on. I also should put a hat on. Hey, I like that fun? ZDTV hat. I like it too. That's an antique. Yeah, and that's that's I'm sure why John chose it because my app uh, is also an antique. That's 20 years old. That hat. 20. Did you when you worked at Tech TV? Was it ZDTV when In you started? In the very beginning, it was yeah. ZDTV. Yep. The very 1998 to 2000. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um. Yep. And then because uh, I remember I was on the web team, and yeah. when they were changing the name to Tech TV, um. They were like the web team was really pushing to have a dot com in the name. Oh, because, interesting. You know, that yeah. was the wanted to, but yeah. this hat has a story too. This is the hat I used to beat Billie Jean King in that very famous <laughs> that was great. tennis match. Yeah. Battle of the Sexes. Yeah. It was great. Um, we're wearing caps because it's app cap time. Oh, I like that. And I'm wearing this antique cap because I, I Do you have, have an antique? I have an app that turns your photos into daguerreotypes. 
Uh, or, I like that. Uh, I, you know, lately there have been a lot of Civil War photos that people mm -hmm, have colorized, mm -hmm. or, and you look at them and you go, wow, that, or World War I, mm -hmm. uh, you saw that uh, P, uh, Jackson just, uh, Peter Jackson just colorized all these videos. Mm -hmm. And you think, oh, these are, look like real people. But what if you didn't want to look like real people? What yeah. if you wanted to look like General Beauregard Johnson? Yes, here's your uh, professor. Your, uh, <laughs> he looks like... Your General Beauregard. He looks producer. like he invented physics in 1942. <laughs> he did, he did he? actually. He did. He invented, I invented uh, Carson physics. Carson Bondi. Yeah, um, that's my and producer. Here's yeah. another one. Um, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Why does Burke look crazy in every photo? <laughs> it's the eyes. What is it with you, Burke? It's the eyes. Every photo. You yeah. look insane. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Burke wanted me to send the, the full version of this photo to him. And I will, Burke. Sorry, I didn't get a chance to use it. I like, so it's damaged. Do. It's black and white. It looks like it's, daguerreotypes were like silver prints, yeah. right? Or, I can't uh, remember what they, oh, yeah. Anthony Nielsen. Yeah, he, he looks the most normal in that. Um, it does something does to look, the eyes. All of these, the eyes yeah, are bright. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Patrick. So Patrick. a little bit zombie-ish. Okay, so this app is called Tintype. And That's what it they were, is, the Tintypes, um, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. My so was face it tin? I think it was tin. Um, yeah, they made the photos on tin. So yeah. here's, uh, yep, there it is. It's nine. It's selfie like it's eighteen ninety nine. Uh, <laughs> it's ninety nine cents. Here, let me take your photo with that special hat. Oh, do you like the sound? Wow, that was a loud okay, sound. So now we can see that was the, it's the big developing. Box. It's slowly developing. We oh, can see it. There it, it goes. <laughs> well, dang. So uh, that, that, you want to do another? Uh, let's do another one. Let's I know. I like one. that no, one. No, no, no. One more. One right. more. One more. Because then we can. Why do you have to make that face? Okay. That was. Let's see. I think that we're was in, in a between. transition. Oh, oh. That see what it is, does with the eyes. Yeah. I think that's kind of interesting. So I can pop. share that. Um, I can text it to you. I can share it on Twitter, um, which I'm going to. Obviously, it's by Hipstamatic. Did I say that? I think I you should sense. dress up in old clothes, though, like Karsten did, to really get <laughs> that bow tie. He wore that bow tie just. Yeah. For that that photo shoot, um, he did he did blink a little bit. I can also adjust it if I wanted to um, make it uh, like have to change the focus. Yes, if I could make the focus just. Leo on that was lost in the dust bowl in yeah. 1933. Um, I can I don't know what else I can he do. He piled his family in the back of an old pickup truck. Oh yeah, drove there we all go. the way to California. Oh look, that's pretty good. It's that optimized looks like a normal for portrait picture. mode. But yeah, that does. Oh, it works with portrait but mode. But I did do the focus. On oh, I want to get this. How much is this? Nine nine cents. That's a pretty I good like deal. I like that one. That looks more dust bowl right there. Yeah, there you go. You want it to be old and yeah. distressed. There we. There. Can we you go. make it a little more sepia? Is that is that in there or is that not? Um, I I think there. I don't know what all these things are. They're just there's no name for this them. This is from probably, the Hipstamatic folks. Yes, it is. Oh well, no wonder it's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I can change. Do, the can you if you too. downloaded Hipstamatic, would you get all of the features of? And plus, or no, they're separate apps. Okay. I have Hipstamatic too. I don't it doesn't know, have actually. a tintype. I feel like it has a, it has an old photo. It does. Um, yeah, let's see what. But the it's more expensive than ninety nine cents. Is it? Is um, it? Here, let me take it. Let, let's take Hips, say Hipstamatic has this old camera looking thing. See where I can. Uh, Wait, see. you shouldn't take a picture of an old picture. No, I was just showing you that it looks like a camera. Oh, how it here. looks! I know, here, I know. I love smile. how it looks. <laughs> And Lisa complains. I never just like. Yeah, you're always. I always have okay, to pose. Let's see what happened. There, ooh. So, oh, it, that was a yeah. So that's like light leak. Yes. Yeah, that's like I the lamography. Probably the um, the photos in there too. Yeah, I love Hipstamatic. I still you, use it pretty. You regularly. buy individual cameras, uh, you know, with Hipstamatic lenses. Yeah, you yeah, buy lenses. the yeah. filters. So yeah, yeah. I, I use it pretty regularly. Cool. Um. Like so this is a photos. specialty part of uh, the tintype version. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. 99 cents. 99. 99, 99. What do you have for your app of the week? I have some a very cool app that we, I've showed before, but it didn't ever work very well. And it's actually working much better now on uh, OS X Mojave. It's called Duet. And it allows you... Now, this would be for somebody with a computer. And by the way, it works with Windows or Mac. Oh, what about the Pixel, you think? No. No. <laughs> no. You need to have, let me um, just show you what it does. You need to have um, a Windows or a Mac machine, and you need to install the Duet software on it. Plus, you need to install the Duet software on your iPad. Okay. Wait, why isn't it showing the same thing? Because this is, well, <laughs> if, if you know anything about a Macintosh, you wouldn't expect to see 
the Mojave Mountains on an iPad, would you? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. But I would. You wouldn't expect to see. to see that either, would you? And if I open iTunes over here, I can get this. Now it's a little weird because I've, you know, I should rearrange because I have, I have this, this is the opposite. But I can take iTunes and move it over. Oh, that's another. That's not. It's not a mirror. It's, it's another extended. desktop. You, ah. you don't want it mirrored, right? Right. You want it so that you have two screens. And I tell you what, with Duets. an iPad. I should I should do it this way. I get it. They're playing a duet together. It's a duet. It's not a mirror. It's like this you and is, I. So I'll give you some use cases. You've got Photoshop uh, running on your Macintosh, and you want to see the images on your very good color display on uh, the iPad. You just have the full-size image there. Look, at I can oh. drag it back and forth. Uh, I'll tell you, you know what's a good use uh, uh, of this is I could put the chat room mm. in uh, one. Let me open up the chat room and have the chat room running. Now, if it's full screen, you can't move it. So you can have it full screen after you move it. So I'm going to move it over like this. And there's the chat room running. And it uses the keyboard. Uh, it uses touch as if it were a mouse. So you can double click stuff copy and paste it and so forth but but remember this is now a, this ipad screen as much as it looks like a an ipad is actually a mac it's a mac the touch with the touch emulating a mouse so it's really i think this is really great for traveling for instance because now i have a dual display uh, uh, unit with just an ipad and, an, and a macbook air this is called a duet I honestly think you should, you you know, they have a trial for the wireless version. I think I'm actually on the wireless version. Is it a subscription? Uh, it's a subscription for some of the more advanced features. It's a one-time fee for the wired version. And the wired version works uh, best. So you can even turn on the touch pad bar. If you have a touch bar, Mac, which I don't, but if you have one, you can put the touch bar uh, on the lower part of your, your show my iPad. It's kind of wacky. On the lower oh, part of my iPad, bar. I've got my touch bar. <laughs> is that weird? I don't even have a touch yeah, bar on this weird, Mac. I was gonna say, you don't yeah, have one. isn't that wild? And Siri will launch that and everything. Gives you one. See, Siri's launching on on over here. Wow. <laughs> uh, so this, uh, I'm not doing a very good demo as usual, <laughs> but uh, and also we don't have enough. Uh, I should have had them give me some more uh, room for the screen here, but. There's been a period of time where Duet did not work well, uh, but they've updated it now to work with Mojave, and I have to say it works better than ever. This is a really great way. See, I can move the mouse. And when it's wired, it's very responsive. You can even, if you have discrete graphics card on your, uh, on your laptop, and again, this works with Windows. It's really uncanny to do it with Windows to see a Windows screen on your iPad. Uh, if you have a discrete graphics card on your uh, computer, it'll use that. Uh, it, it, if you pay a little extra, you can use the uh, the Air version. You could choose the resolutions of both screens. Um, Air is kind of cool because that uses Wi-Fi to connect. Oh, you know what? I probably hadn't added it as a trusted device. Mm. I'm going to put Auto Connect in here on Air. And you can do it remotely, which is basically it's giving you a remote access tool uh, as well. But that's an additional fee. The base, Start with the base and use the trials of the others to see if you want them. I think wired is pretty much all you need. And now that uh, the Apples and the iPads both support Type-C, any of the Type-C cables you've got doesn't have to be a special data cable. The cable that comes with the charger works fine. That's what this is. Uh, will connect up and then you've got the two computers connected. It's really remarkable. This is now doing it wirelessly, which is even wackier. I see I just disconnected the cable. <laughs> And so, <laughs> and it's, it's, it takes a licking, but it keeps on ticking. A lot of times, uh, if you're a coder, you would, you would like to have the ability to run code in, in one screen and have the, uh, have the program running in the other screen. There's lots of reasons. If you're a video editor, your wireless network has interference. Plug in your lightning cable for flawless performance. This is actually, this is working over Wi-Fi. So you see, there's a little more hesitation than with wired, but it's, it works. And if what you're doing is typing code in one screen and running the program in the other, that's fine. That's, you know, the little bit of lag is not going to be a big deal. But as I said, try the wired version first. Duet. There are other programs that do this. These guys worked at Apple, and I think they really kind of nailed it. For a while, it didn't work very well. 
and I kind of abandoned it, but I was really pleased when their new Mojave version came out, and now it works just superbly, superbly. It might take a little tweaking, uh, as you saw. Sometimes you have to kind of do things like close it and reopen it after you connect the uh, cable, and things will things will happen. There you what? go. Yeah. Are you tempted? I am tempted. I think I have the original version. Um, yeah, we did it. We did it, yeah. um, and, and 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 we had problems with it for some reason. I'm not yeah. sure why, but it's it's uh, maybe types Type C is. Yeah. I think maybe the big, the big fix. Mm -hmm. If you have an iPad Pro, you're gonna you're gonna love this. Yeah, and I it, might. You can see it's it's now that I'm wired again. It's really close to uh, real time, in terms of uh, performance. Mm -hmm. We have done it. We have completed what have another we done? show. I, that is always the question I ask myself <laughs> around this time. What have we done? We thank you so much for joining us. We do uh, iPad, or I guess it's iOS now, iOS today, mm -hmm. and with a little Android Chrome OS thrown mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. We. How much longer is that going on? Two more weeks. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you like it? I like it just fine. Like I like it better as a laptop replacement than the iPad, right. but it's not as fun to use and it doesn't run all the things the iPad does. Yeah, iPad not, apps are very different. Yeah, and yeah. it's just not, it's not a fun, like, device. To no, just, it's a work device. Yeah. And yeah. I'm still getting used to some This is a stuff. good thing to do, though, because I think sometimes people who live in one garden or the other don't really know, mm -hmm. you know. How bad it is on the other side. Of <laughs> <laughs> it's very they bad. They think it's bad. <laughs> But it isn't all that bad. It's not all that bad. I work in all the gardens. Mm -hmm, I'm kind you do. of a gardener. <laughs> you I like are. to watch. Leo Laporte, the gardener of tech. Uh, we do this show every Tuesday, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern time. That'd be 1700 UTC. If you want to come by and watch it live, you can. Just go to twit.tv slash live. We've got audio and video streams there. If you are watching live, hey, it's even more fun if you do it with friends in our chat room at irc.twit.tv. TV. But as with everything we do on this network, there are on-demand versions. That's why they call it a podcast. There are on-demand versions of the show available at twit.tv slash iOS. Or you don't even need to go to twit.tv. You could just uh, you could just go to your favorite podcast application and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Just search for iOS today. You'll We're find not them. yet in Pandora. They just added podcasts mm -hmm. and we've we've you know we've sent them the contract. Uh, we will see, I think they want us to cut the ads out and then do their own ads, which will be a non-starter. Mm. Um, but we are on Spotify, we're on Google Music, and of course the real podcast apps like the podcast app from Apple. Just search for iOS today, you'll find us. Subscribe, you'll get it automatically. We're on YouTube too. Oh, and YouTube as well. And yeah. you know where else we are? If you want to really see how Leo reacted to the, those three boxes of meat, uh, we're on Instagram. As well, yeah. So. There's a there's a there's a inside twit feed, right? Mm -hmm. Instagram.com/slash inside twit, and there is a twit.tv feed. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that. I think Henry's going to take over one of those. So my son's going to start watch out because he likes to humiliate dad. So <laughs> that should be full it's, of. Fun. I mean, it's really difficult. Uh, it's to so humiliate hard to a find. guy who has no pride. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, yeah, and we're on Twitter as well. Yeah. Like Twitter is on Twitter. So check. Follow us everywhere. everywhere. Just follow us like a stalker. Would That's you like what I always a, say. Would you like a mint? <laughs> have sure. a mint. And have a great day. We'll see you next time. I was too. Bye bye.